OpenAI just added their GPT image model into their API, and I am so stoked. I've been waiting for this since they announced it. I've been playing with it in ChatGPT. The reason I'm personally so excited is because I've had an idea of an application I wanted to build with image gen and image editing, and I haven't found a model that works out of the box to bring that idea to life. And I wanted to see if this model could do it. And spoiler alert, it did. Let me show you what I built first, and then we'll dig into the code just a tiny bit. First, I'm going to switch over to my phone to show you the application. All right, I've switched over to my phone, and the application I built I call the Time Travel Camera. The idea is that you take a picture, but instead of getting it back exactly as you took it, it returns it through the lens of a different period, either in the past or maybe even the future. So we'll open this up. I've got it in selfie mode. I could do ancient Egypt or Roman Empire or uh, medieval, but I love prehistoric, so I'll take a selfie here. Uh, this does have to bend space time for the application to work, so it can take a little bit. Also, it's weird to have like me in the corner, me on the phone. That's a little too much me for me. So I'll skip ahead to when the image is returned in the application for us. And there we go. That is uh, me, prehistoric version of me. Uh, that's that's kind of like me. Let me show you how I built this. We are looking at my code and cursor. I want to just show you a few things I found fun and interesting as I was building this. If you want to do a deep dive on the code, it's on GitHub and you can check it out there. First of all, this is a Hono application running on Cloudflare workers. And if we head over to slash API slash time travel and we skip past uh, the validation stuff here, uh, we get to the first thing I want to show you, which is the prompt text. And I probably spent more time than I should admit working on this prompt. Uh, I found if I was too specific, the images started to feel predictable. But if I wasn't specific enough, they didn't really look like the original source image. So what I landed on was this. Transform the provided image into a photorealistic scene taking place in period. It is essential to retain the original subject's identity features and the overall composition of the scene. Modify the setting, clothing, and surrounding elements to accurately reflect the style and atmosphere of the, the time period. The final image should clearly show the original subject transported to this different time period. So this has been pretty good. I'll probably keep tweaking it. Or if you find a prompt that's better, please send me a pull request. I'd love to, to keep uh, iterating on this prompt, but it's been pretty good. So after the prompt, we take the image they sent in and we pass this over to OpenAI uh, using this new GPT-image-1 model we've talked about. Uh, and one thing that I didn't know about is this moderation uh, parameter, and it looks like it's not even in uh, the, the type definitions yet, but it is in the docs. And I discovered this because I was talking to Craig Dennis, so thank you, Craig. And one of the things is I was testing this out. I took a picture of my daughter, and I got a response back uh, from the content moderation block on OpenAI, which honestly, I'm so thankful that they're thoughtful about moderating the content here. Uh, but Faye was a little mad that she couldn't use the application. Uh, and so they they do have the ability to turn down that moderation slightly, which uh, is a good thing to know about. And it still has thoughtful uh, moderation on top of it, even with the setting of low. So after we do this, what I do is I take the image that we get back from OpenAI and I put it into a R2 bucket. And the, the reason I do this is something I've thought about for a long time. I built a lot of different image generation AI applications. And every time I don't always know what to do with the, the content that the user generates using my application, do I depend on them to save it? Do I put it somewhere myself? Uh, and most of the time, I just depend on them to save it and kind of move on. But for this app specifically, it, it felt weird to not store those images and have them available after you've taken them. And it was really easy for me to throw them into an R2 bucket. You can see, basically, we just convert this uh, binary 64 JSON we get back from OpenAI, and we store that in our R2 bucket. And then I just return the file name that lets us access that. So if we jump over to this route where it's API slash images, you can see I'm just able to uh, retrieve this using the get. Uh, and we have some error handling if stuff goes wrong, but this was really, really easy. The thing that I was excited about with R2, though, that this let me do besides this is 
uh, I have this uh, API images route and it lets me get all the images I've taken. And so if I pop over here into my app running locally, you can see uh, my history of images, which is fun. This is one of my favorites. I don't know why. It doesn't totally look like me, but uh, it's really, really close actually to the selfie I took. Uh, and maybe you all will say it looked like me and that, that that's fine. Uh, and so uh, this, this was so easy to do to just iterate over and get all those images and be able to show that history. I think that's everything I'm going to show you. I'll, I'll say if you if you were building this for yourself and you were having multiple users, you should you know set these out by specific users and uh, make sure not everyone's seeing everything in your bucket. But I'm really just using this application uh, as a one user application uh, for myself. Uh, like I said, you can go check this out on GitHub. We have the nice deploy to Cloudflare button so you can get started right away. Uh, if you have any issues, if you want to uh, update it with any PRs, please, please reach out, say hi. Uh, and if you build anything else rad with, with any of these tools, I would love to see them. Thanks a lot.